Yo, 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 this is the third episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me, Shayla, aka Shay Mother, aka Mugs for short. You got me, Dele, aka Diamond Boy, aka Golden Boy. Hey, all right, yeah, let's drink to it. Right. Shot time. Shot time. Let's do it. Man. Mm. All right, to get things started, we're going to talk about a couple things today. We're going to talk about, you know, how to invest, how to get started, yeah. and why you should do it. But first, we're going to kick it off, you know, what's going on in the market. What's, what's well, first, I want to shout out to our sponsor for these uh, shot glasses and cups, All Things Money. Um, you can find it on Facebook, Instagram, Melissa Dupont, 15, uh, CEO of A&M, Get Basket Creation. So hit her up. She's very professional. And quick, too. Quick. Quick. Like, within three days, she yeah. got the job done. Sure got she even gave us extra shot glasses and cups um, and gave us a discount, too. So, shout out um, to our sponsor for that one. Um, you were saying? What's, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, the biggest uh, news for me within, like, the past uh, week, two weeks or so, was um, the Spirit and uh, mm. Frontier merger. Um, I know everybody likes the clown spirit, uh, but I'm happy, you know. I there really like ain't nothing wrong with spirit. Personally, yeah. I don't think I could fly spirit again, yeah. um, but I mean, I'm to be honest, I never had like a negative spirit story. Like I know like people who fly to Miami or stuff like that, but I never had a bad spirit. You know, it's funny because I never really had a bad experience. Um, I always love spirit. Actually, everybody used to yeah. clown it, and I feel like spirit works because you know the more people talk about it, and there's controversies over it, unprofessionalism, mm -hmm. the you know the fights on the plane or whatever, the more popular yeah, it gets. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, my last experience with spirit wasn't a good one. I went to Miami, um, and uh, dang, should I talk about it? Nah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, uh, talk about it. Yeah, so basically, um. Got on a flight, we're landing in the Philly now. And I can see the runway. And usually I don't like to watch like the takeoff or the landing. Yeah. So, um, but for this time, if I see the runway, I'm like, all right, cool, we're, we're cool. You know what I mean? So um I felt, you know, when you go on the air, um, when you're about to land, you can kind of feel the tires like touch the ground a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then the aircraft can kind of shake. Yeah. So the uh it touched the runway, yeah. but as soon as it touched, it went back up in the air. And we went like a full circle around, like to landing it. I was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that was it for me. Cause I, I started to look at everybody's faces. That's how I know whether yeah. I should panic or not. I'll be looking at other people's faces. I saw the flight attendant was like. So what, so like what made you invest in that? Um, I got into it because of the, uh, the price it was trading at, at the time. I knew, I saw the chart. Um, usually we'd be trading at, uh, like 60, 70 yeah, yeah, yeah. dollars. Um, I saw that at like $11. So I'm like, shit, <laughs> I love a discount. You know what I mean? So I bought it and now, um, with the merger, it even went up a couple more dollars and the target price for this year is, is even priced at like 30. Mm. So I went from 11 to around $30. My man. So I'm going I'm to I'm take a shot to that one. Actually, That's a fact. Yeah, tell me some too. I'm going to take a shot to that one. Yeah, because I know um like the travel sector in the market hit hard. Yeah. Delta, all the airlines, uh, and things like that. So let's take a shot to that one. Thanks. Where my shot at? Where your shot at? Mm. Also, so I'm gonna take another shot because Elon Musk just accepted um Oh, uh, Tesla. Um, you can pay. Uh, you can Dogecoin. Dogecoin for um, uh, the uh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Man, except in Do uh, Doge for sure. So, like, when they say accept payment, like, what what is that? Uh... So, um, they have uh, Dogecoin has a uh, uh, a wallet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, you can pay through that wallet. Oh, and then, yeah, I see. So I you see. can do it for Tesla. Um, 
shit like that. The merch, um, even SpaceX, they have a project going on. So yeah, yeah that's probably the two biggest news for me so far. So I'm gonna drink to that. Dogecoin. That's fine. Oh, you need a. Oh yeah, I need. Mean. Now we about to go through this. Jeez. Yeah, shout out to Doge and uh, Spirit, man. That's a fact. Now the only uh, the news I got. So I know um, most people heard um, Jay Z and a couple other investors um, brought into Mitchell and Ness. It was um, I want to say it was uh, two hundred fifty million mm. for twenty uh, five uh, percent. And Mitchell and Ness is like uh, sports brands over a hundred years. So, and a lot of times I think it was like a quote of like. Meek Mill saying that, you know, he grew up with Mitchell and Ness. So to to have an opportunity to buy into that and get into that, that was, you know, that's major. You know what I mean? You yeah. really don't hear too much news about that, especially, you know, black people buying exactly. in like that. So that's major. Shout out to them. You know what I, mean? I think it was what, Jay-Z, Meek Mill, Lil Baby. Yeah. And then uh, somebody like a fam, uh, another oh, family, man. like, yeah, yeah, yeah stuff like, like that. Yeah. So. It was it was it was a decent amount, twenty five percent. So you know what I mean, and that's that's major, especially for um, Jay Z and Rock Nation because they do like the sports brands. So, yeah, that's you know true. what I mean. That that connection is there. So I mean, shout out to them. Yeah. yeah, I like what they're doing, especially you know black artists all coming. Yeah, together. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's that's, that's that's nice, man. That's that's the way to go. And networking and stuff like that. Nice. So, so I guess the the next thing we're about to get into is. How to start investing? What's what's the steps? Yeah, uh, for for like crypto or when it comes to stocks, um, the platform I really use is uh, crypto.com mm -hmm. for crypto. I um, also use uh, Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet. I use Coinbase. I use Coinbase and, and crypto.com. Yeah, funny enough, I used to have Coinbase, like blockchain and all that stuff mm -hmm. back in like 2015, but um, yeah. I had, I had actually had. Um, so you've been here? Nah, like I had um, Bitcoin back in 2015. But I had sold early. Mm. So. Pain. It's painful. I might drink to that. That's painful. <laughs> you, you remember the price? Or not? I think it was around, funny enough. I have a cousin who was really into Bitcoin. Yeah. So he put in my first hundred dollars into Bitcoin back in 2015. So I don't even know the price that he just kind of did it for me. Yeah. Um, but I saw it went up like fifty dollars. So I, I withdrew. I'm like, oh, well, I'm up. So that's that's actually, actually that's painful. <laughs> that's sad. It's like man, <laughs> sad sad story. Painful to hear. Yeah. You know, that is crazy. But, um. Yeah. Crypto.com. Uh, trust wallet. Um, what else? And then for regular stocks, I use Robinhood. Um, those are my favorite platforms. Um, I feel like the interface is smooth. Yeah. Um, the ex user experiences, you know. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it because the the instant deposit, like you know what I'm saying, like, and if you want to do more, you can upgrade to like, uh, Robinhood Gold and and things like that. I also use uh, personally, I use Fidelity, to um. There's also acorns, that's real. Um, that's really good too, and you can do like as low as five dollars or one dollars a week, and then see your portfolio grow over time. And they have like a a good estimate in there too as well. So yeah, when I first was trying to get into investing like years ago, yeah, uh, I think one of the first investing uh, apps or platforms that I heard of was acorns. acorns, and I just like the concept yeah. because. Um, Basically, you can swipe your card. Yeah. Whatever you spend, you know, a portion of that goes <coughs> to uh, goes to an ETF. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. or a stock or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. they they got like really cool features on there. So they got like one feature is like the roundup. So like, if you go somewhere like McDonald's or somewhere, and your thing is like fourteen fifty or something like that, um, you can do the roundup feature where fifty cents goes toward like an ETF or a mutual fund, whatever. If, whatever, depending on like what kind of portfolio portfolio you have in Acorns, because you can have moderate, aggressive, 
um, conservative and things like that. So it all depends on what kind of portfolio you have, but that 50 cents goes into there. And I know like sometimes people think like, you know, what's 50 cents? What's a dollar? Mm-hmm. But like, yo, yo, it adds, up. It adds I'm telling it's you, no that's, that's the one, that's the one thing, amazing thing. Like I, I truly love about, you know, investing in um, the automatic investing. You know what I mean? They have that option in Robinhood. So every week, at each month, automatic money coming from my account and going straight to, to Robinhood, whether I, uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's automatic. So that's that's a great opportunity because like, you know what I mean? Like you, you think about it and things like that. Like if you brought a share once a week when you were 18, 10 years from now, like how many shares, you know what I mean? Like when you, when you think about it like that, longevity, is is crucial. That's why I really enjoy it because, like, you know, what I'm saying we're young right now, and anybody listening that's you know young, then the perfect time to to start is now. Mm. So let me ask you this: What's one thing you would tell or say to a person who's trying to get into the game? Like, what's one mm. thing you would tell them? Like, an advice that you would give them? That's a that's a good question. Honestly. You know, like like we said before, like it's a game of patience. Like mm. you, you gotta be you gotta be patient and weather the storm and you know what I mean, that pendulum always it always swings back. So mm. like whenever the market is down, it's gonna come back up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I would just say patient and just like look at it as, you know, building a wall, just lay one brick at a time, you know what I mean? Buy one share at a time and then you know what I mean, when you look up you you see a wall, so you know what I'm saying? So I say just, you know I'm saying? So like look into, you know, value stocks, growth stocks, just enjoy yeah. the journey. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nice. Okay. What about you? Um, One advice I would give to somebody trying to get into stock or trading yeah. um, is to tough because it's really a hit or miss yeah. I, you know sometimes you may feel like you're losing mm-hmm. but you're really not yeah you know and th- that's really the beauty of it like you can feel like everything can be going like all the um you could be going down like the yeah. stock price um but in the next one month it can shoot up yeah. and it can change your life exactly you know what I mean it's really life changing it's, it's, it, it really you know what I mean that's like I think that's the most beautiful thing of, about it is, mm-hmm. is that it can be, it's it's an opportunity to change your life. Like right. it's, it's hope. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like hope. that, that's, you know, that's exactly, that's exactly what it is because if you just leave your money in your bank account, there's no hope. There's no hope. There's no hope. There's no, no hope. hope for that. But no. if you do your research, you put the time in and you invest in a, a company and you want to see it grow. Mm-hmm. There's hope in that. There's, yeah. you know what I mean. Whether, you know what I'm saying. There's hope and, and stuff like that. And you know, every dog has his day. And you know what I mean. It, it could happen and, and change. It really changes your life. And I and I always say this, like, you know, I had hoop dreams at one point. Yeah. That's out the window. You you know. Yeah, I thought I was gonna. You know, I was playing football in my life, sports, yeah. basketball. You know, whatever it may be. When I was a kid, I thought I was gonna go to the league, you know, like every other kid. Probably. Which league? Which league? Um, <laughs> yo, I no, nah, like when I was, record, I've known this guy since like. No, nah, okay. When I was like, when, 15, I, when 15, I was like younger, this is the first time I'm hearing. When I was younger, like elementary, like soccer. Oh. Then, like when it came to like middle school, like fourth grade, yeah. or a little bit before middle school, it was really basketball. Wow. Like, I know. Yeah, I used to play basketball. I even told my dad I wanted to change my last name to Iverson. <laughs> that I was really, you know what I mean, in that basketball space. But then, um. I got into football because yeah. um, my my high school um, or my middle school like gym teacher mm. he told me I was really good mm. and that's actually how I met Jeremy like, through football uh, I used to play for Winslow you know what I mean stuff like that and I thought and I was like nice wow. and we was, uh, we was on the same all star team yeah we was on the all star team yeah. Yeah. won the chip and everything yeah like I yeah well, y'all won the chip we yeah. won the chip wow that's crazy so you know I had football dreams um got to high school and I was like you know what. I knew I was in, you know what I mean? So then, and I can't rap either. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the only way to touch millions or uh, see close to millions for me is really with yeah. investing. 
Yeah. And you know, that's the closest mm-hmm. I've been. So I'm gonna I'm drink to that. Yeah, so if you know you can't make it to the league, and if you know your bars ain't like that, hmm. was it come to death row? <laughs> <laughs> you better download Robin Hood, man. Nah, nah, that's you know what? Like that's a that's a fact. Yes, yeah, it's a fact. Bro. You know what I mean? Like it's because sometimes like when you think about it, it's almost like defeating because you'd be like, you know, I'm not a rapper. Yeah. I'm not. Um, I'm not into entertainment or anything right. like that. So. You know how I'm gonna make this money right. and things like that. Maybe school is not your thing or whatever, but like, yo, get into an investment. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, read, study the game, learn some things. Keep you know, keep listening to us. Keep listening to this podcast. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And things like that, and just really soak it in because like the opportunity is there. It really is. Like, it's- the most average person with no talent can really. Find a stock or a crypto or whatever, invest a certain amount of money at the right time to become a millionaire overnight. You know that, what I mean? That's a fact. And you know, it's it's so crazy because like, you know, we all watch sports and we all, you know, listen to music and videos and things like that. But like if the owner of those corporations, the owner of the basketball team mm-hmm. walk into CVS right next to us, we wouldn't even know who they are. Exactly. We really wouldn't, you know what I mean? But and then if you read those stories about how they got into the game and how they they did it through investing, like it's it's crazy because like when I was reading on how like um the family who owns the Lakers right now, his story and what he did for his family was crazy. Like what how he um like how he all started, like how he, he brought the Lakers, you know, made it to what it is, the franchise. And now his daughter owns the Lakers and things like that. And it's just like how he did it was through real estate. It was through investing. Mm. And he he saw an opportunity to buy the Lakers and he did it. I think it was um I think it was like 65, 65 million. And now the Lakers is is worth billion, like billions of dollars valuation. So and and now it's in the family. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's that whole thinking and how it was, was, you know, investing. You know, one thing I've been battling with, this is kind of like off topic of what you're saying, but kind yeah. of on brand. Yeah. Uh, when do you think is a good time to pull out? Mm. Like, like, uh, investing one? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Nah, so like, stop yeah. <laughs> man, I'm drinking that. Yeah, fact. Nah, so like, um, so like, you talking about like, um, so I, I feel like if you have like a price target, mm-hmm. like say if you get in, like what you saying about Spirit, like it was at $11. Yeah. And you have a set mind of what your exit strategy is, whether that's $50 or $60 or whatever that is, then like, I feel like you should know going into like, what's your, what's your exit strategy? But honestly, that's, that's really a good question. Like, honestly, like, when I look into investing, I'm trying to like, be a part of the journey. Like, I'm thinking like, maybe, maybe a couple years, but then again, like, there is fast money with day trading. And, fast. You know what I mean? And selling high because, you know what I mean? When it go up high, you know it's coming back down. So, but then again, like I, I get more concerned about like tax issues and yeah. how people are, because that'd be like they're not paying the taxes or something. Like that. You know what I mean? I, I think about I think about the short term tax mm-hmm. uh, percentage versus the long term right. uh, taxes, and I don't know some people don't. So like, if you hold it, I think if you hold it past the year, it's twenty two percent. But if you sell it lower than a year then it's 30 percent. so you know when you're thinking about it like that so that's why that's why i try to like not try to sell within a year because i'm like okay so i know i'm gonna you know get taxed and things like that and listen man this irs they're gonna get their money oh that's a that's a fact they want to check that like 92 93 like they they gonna go all the way back so Best believe the IRS is gonna get their money. So that's why I be thinking about stuff like that. So 
Um, but as far as like when I know to pull out, I think it's, I think I'd be like, you know what? I've had a good run. I'm done with this journey. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what I mean? Like, I think, man, that's, that's, I, I think that's, it's so like case by case because mm -hmm. like, like. All right, for, let me ask you this. Yeah, yeah. Dogecoin. For I those who had, like, yeah. for those who saw it go up to 75 cents. Yeah. Do you think they should have pulled or they should have, like, they still, there's still hope for those who helped? I mean, you know, that's what I was thinking about. So, because I get mad at myself because I sold at like one, two cents. That's why. I <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, like, you know, <laughs> yo, when I seen it go to 75 cents, I said, wow. Oh, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You talking about pain? <laughs> yo. I, I seen it when it was a That's an expensive thing right uh, it is. <laughs> it was. Cause I, I seen I seen Doge at like uh quarter ten of a penny. God I, damn. I, yo, I've seen listen, let me I was there. <laughs> I, I was I was there at the beginning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I well I was I was looking at it and the crazy thing is I was like and I was like, but I knew I was like, yo, if it went to one penny, mm. I'd be happy. Yeah, yeah. And then when it reached a penny, that's why I'm like, you know what? I made what I can out of this deal. And I didn't think that it was going to go to seven. I do not think that it was going to go to seven five cents. So I pulled my money for right. this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, it. you just like, honestly, you just never know. Because like, it just, it can keep. Because right now, I think it's like 14, 15 cents right now. But like, you just... You never know, and I think like um, Doge is like one of those unique stories. But like, it's hope though, because it's so do hope. So, do you think it can get up to like a dollar or past seventy five cents? Do you think they're still open? Hon honestly, like if if it's enough people that's backing it, yeah. like you know what I mean, like what the whole the whole story about like GameStop and all that stuff, oh, yeah, like yeah, sure. if if enough people, you know what I mean, behind like Reddit and all. You know those people like that. If enough people get behind it, just like these big hedge funds and stuff like that, then it, it it's it's definitely possible. Cause I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna go to seventy. When I I said yo, yeah, like I be battling with it. Like I'm like sometimes I ask myself, am I an idiot? Like, did it, you know what I'm saying? Like should I have pulled out? Yeah. Or is there a bigger purpose. Is you, there, think, you think it's gonna go back to seventy five cent? Yeah, I think it's good. Honestly, I really feel like it's gonna probably touch like five dollars, two dollars. Five dollars? Yeah, that's what I I pray for. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I pray for. Let me, um, but I just feel like Elon has a plan. Yeah, and you know, I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it. beside him. That's your man. That's <laughs> my man. You know, I hope he doesn't fall my hand at all. You know what I mean? But um. Sometimes I just wonder because I don't really see too much, you know, for if you ask me back maybe last April, by this time it was at, it was gonna be at a dollar. Yeah. Two dollars, you know what I mean? And it's not seeing that right now. So I you know, we'll see. Nah, the, the crazy the crazy thing is I think it's gonna go to I think in, I think it's gonna go maybe within the five years. I think it's gonna go to a dollar. I just got out of it personally. Because I've seen it at the ground floor, mm -hmm. and it's it's just too much pain for me to go back in right now. Because I like yo, it's it's crazy because like I used to buy stocks, mm -hmm. and like the leftover five ten dollars or whatever, I would put it in Doge, and it'd be like ten hundreds of thousand dollars just off of five ten yeah. fifteen dollars, and I'd be like, all right, you know, just in case it might go that way, but. You know what I mean? It, I'm actually about to drop some, some, some exclusive tea. All right, yeah, let's yeah. Let's, let's get it. It's a new coin. Who? That it's my baby right now. Which one? What's 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 new coin? Um, it's actually two. <coughs> so I feel like I have three cryptos that are really, I feel like are my children. Yeah. My first born was Doge. 
Yeah. So you know, that's the first born. He's doing what he's doing. Yeah. I don't really. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just the first born. Let the first born do whatever. Second safe moon. I've heard you talk about safe. Yeah, safe moon. That's like my middle child. Where Where is that trait? In you still gotta um shit. Um, I'm not too sure of the price at the moment. I really try, try not to be looking honestly. Yeah. I like to throw money and then forget about it. Yeah. And I'll check from time to time. That's on Robinhood? That's on, uh, no, it's, nah. not, it's definitely not on Robinhood. I have it on Trust Wallet. Yeah, you can get it on Trust Wallet. It's probably on Crypto.com. They even actually have their own wallet as well. So mm-hmm. you can buy um, Safe Moon on their actual wallet. Um, and then my last one is called Big Gert. Big Gert? Yeah, Big Gert. Um, it's like B-Rise. I think that's the... Um, Where's that on? Crypto.com? I have it on uh, Trust Wallet as well. Well, since, since we're talking about Crypto. Mm-hmm. There's a new one that I um, it's it, it it's like one of those things where I'm like it can go either left or right. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't I wouldn't advise anybody to go into this, but like I just wanted to cause you just never know because how things be moving. But Tonic and I heard uh, about it. VBS Finance, I think it's, that's what it's called, VBS Finance. Um. And things like that and a couple other alchemy pay and spell you know what i'm saying so i, I mean i i think i think of those opportunities just like you know what i mean just like you because you never like the the crazy thing is like you never know so like i so i've read the intelligent investor by that was forwarded by warren buffett and things like that and you know benjamin graham uh, you know who was con who was the mentor of warren buffett and I think like that, but now today, you just never know what could really happen because of what's, you know, what the masses might think of. Just like like Dogecoin, there's no, like no one could have ever predicted that right. Dogecoin would have shot up the way that it did because it was originally as a meme coin. So it's like- and A joke. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It so it's like- as a joke. And now, the, like, yo, if you would, Listen, man, I what pains me, yo, I had the bread. Like I, I had the money to 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 buy a million shares. I was like, yo, I when this is when it was like a quarter of a penny, and I said, you know what? I think I might I might buy a million shares to be a part of the million dollar club. Whatever. But I said, you know what? Nah. <laughs> I said, let me go save. Let me yeah. let me listen to like, you know what I mean, the smart way yeah. and things like that. And when I said and when I seen it go to 75 cent, I said, damn. You know what's funny? That was pain. I don't even talk about it like that. Nah, I feel you. I wouldn't need grounds. I I wouldn't. If I were you, I I wouldn't yeah, even, I, I wouldn't even bring it up. I don't even talk about Bitcoin like that, honestly, because yeah. it's, it's kind of painful. It, it I think is. I try to bury it under the rug as yeah. if it never happened. Yeah, it's it's, it's you know, painful. It is, but yeah, man, Doge gave me my first real like honey bun. You know what honey yeah. bun? Yeah, nah, what's honey bun? Like hundred thousand. Oh, word? Yeah, I was crazy. Oh well, yeah, he's a uh, drunk right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, I was like, damn. Yeah, I'm like, this is all in one place. Yo, it's not even like. Yo, I yo, out. let me let me t- let me tell you about the the experience of of those coins because I can't even like. I can't even wrap that around. Like, listen, I told, like, I told people, I told people, like, yo, get into Dogecoin. I told, and then when that shit started rising, yo, we was, we was in this, we was in this place right now. Now I'm, I'm talking, like, we was in this place laughing. Like, yo, we was like, yo, what's rising? Um, Josh was texting me, uh, was like, yo, what's that? Such and such sense, like yeah. it's going up. Like I told people, like yo, get in right now, uh-huh. get, in, get in right now. So like, yo, that's like, you know, Wolf of, that's uh, Wolf of right. Wall Street. Of course, it's one of my favorite. You know that moment where everything's going good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to take drugs. Yeah, wants to. Yo, that's how. I, <laughs> that's how I felt. Yo, listen. I'm like, yo, I'm on top of the world. Yo, listen. At that time, I felt like nobody could tell me nothing. Like yo, I was ready. I, I was ready to be at my job. Like yo, what are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, that's no cap though. Like, I, I feel like. I'm gonna do to that one. Cheers. Cheers.
<laughs> Yo, that experience gave me a whole different confidence that I never You said that. Warren Buffett who? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was like, yo, I'm about to start my own firm. <laughs> my own investment group. <laughs> yo, nah, no, no cap though. So getting back to the agenda. So we already talked about how to invest in different things like that. So there's different other apps. We got Acorns, Robinhood, Fidelity. Crypto.com. Crypto.com, Coinbase. We got all these different types of apps and things Trust like that. Trust Wallet. So, Trust Wallet. So you can, you know what I mean? You can look at your app store or, or whatever you got and kind of and kind of get into the game and, and things like that. So so that's how to get started. So I guess the next thing um, we should talk about is like why to, to why? get started. And before we even uh, discuss that, I want to kind of give a story real quick. Um, what kind of changed my mentality? Yeah. Um, there's one time. Um, I said this probably on episode. Was it one or two? But I don't feel like I really got my point across. Let's get it across. I went to the bank. <laughs> Which bank? TD. TD Bank. I have TD Bank. Shout out to TD. Shout um, out to I don't have TD Bank. Though. I dig so bank. I like that. I'm professional. <laughs> I went. To, I went to TD. Um, I went to the bank teller. I think I was depositing money or whatever. Uh, and, and the lady, the bank teller, very nice lady, she said, uh, mind you, their customer service is on point. Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. TD, they, 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 they good. Fees, mm, but. I used to know somebody who worked in TD. Yeah, they, they cool, yeah. they cool. Yeah. So uh, the, the bank teller told me, why do you have all this money sitting in your checking account? Mm. Oh. And in my head, you know, me, I was always was one of them people who like to see the my account grow. Mm. Thanks. Not knowing that it's it's like pointless. You're actually losing money. Yeah, no, no, you know that's, I mean? a, that's that's a fact. So I used to just like, you know, every two weeks, you know, direct deposit hey, I, okay, fine, it's at this number. You know, let's just for example, you start at one thousand, gets to five thousand, seven thousand, ten thousand. Mm. I used to like to see it grow like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't understand at the time, like why she said that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And even my cousin too, he really changed my mind too, because you know, he was like, yo, that money could be Who Flor? Yeah, Flor. He you know, he's very into money. <clears throat> he was like, yo, that money can be making you money. Shout out to the Cali trip in 2016 year. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, I always wanted to play it safe, watch the numbers grow, and I felt like I was but, but there's really no point in just having money just sitting around yeah. in your account. So, you know, I now, so basically, like I was saying, um, she's like, why do you have X amount of money? I said, why not? <laughs> and she was like, oh, you could, you know, put it in your savings account and stuff like that. But the whole moral of the, of the, the whole, I guess, story with the bank teller is, be comfortable not having that much money in your checking. Mm, that's you know? a fact. That's huge. Um, yeah. Now I just keep a couple thousand, maybe two, three thousand. I don't really. That's wavy. Yeah, I don't really like to keep too much in my check. And honestly, it's, it's for the better. Yeah. I don't have it. If I don't have it, I don't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because you know when you have a lot of money in your account, <laughs> you know you tend to splurge right, on things. Right. Spend it on you yeah. know food. So now it will kind of restrict you to, right, right, right. to you know believe. Uh, and, a little bit below your means, you know. And, I mean? and that's honestly how you build that hustler spirit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. you know what I mean? Like, that's that's really that's really how it begins. But go ahead. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I, I said, you know what? I don't want to see more than X amount of money in my account at yeah. any point in time. Right, right. You know what I mean? And me, I know, you know, every everybody's situation is different. Yeah. You know, right. so just know the situation you're in and know the means you can live in. Um. <laughs> And just keep that kind of money in your account. Other than that, any extra money you have, put into a stock or to a crypto and invest it some type of way. Because there's no point in just having money just sitting in your account. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no point. There's no there's no reason. There's why no reason. Because like 
and 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 that's the that's the point that I I really want to like stress and point out because yeah. like the money that you be that you can get from the bank is really not is not enough. It is really small and and even even as a concern like if you are a conservative investor and you're thinking like, dang, you know, I, I don't really want to like lose my money. I don't want to, things like that. Like look into the S&P 500 index and what they have from the period of, I want to say 1928, they have an average of 10% average and ret- like return. So if you go with them, you know what I'm saying? Almost that's, guaranteed. That's almost guaranteed. Yeah. That's, 10%, that's an average dating back almost 100 years. So, and th- that's guaranteed money. So what you're telling me is that in 10 years, you're almost automatically going to, you know what I mean, double your money. So it's like, it's, that's that's better than putting your money in the bank. So Thanks. that's why I'm saying like, you got to you gotta start putting your money into places where it's going to grow. And obviously, and, and honestly, if like, if like, you know, you're too afraid of the analysis and and doing the research and things like that. Look at look at Warren Buffett for what he do. He's one of the most intelligent investors, the most famous investors of all time and things like that, worth billions of dollars. And you can see that information on Google. You know, right. you can look at his company Berkshire Hathaway, which is valued the the class A stock over three hundred thousand dollars for one stock. If you can look at their top 10 holdings and things like that and just model after what you have to do. You don't have to do the research. You don't have to do the analysis. You can look at his top 10 holdings. And I'll say one of them is Apple. So, you know. You know, you know what's funny? I feel like people tend to overcomplicate things. Let's talk about it. <laughs> look, you want to be a rich nigga? Right? Yeah. That's Just follow what the rich niggas is doing. Hey, exactly. <laughs> that's all it you, is. You don't gotta <laughs> You don't have to confuse things like Just either. follow what they're doing. Follow what follow follow what they doing. That's like it's it's so crazy. Uh, it's so crazy to really think like that. Like when you think about the you know, the rich niggas that's that's really doing it, mm-hmm. it's not because of what their job right. or anything like that. like when you think about like um you know Jay Z and they they didn't get their billions from making music. Right. No, they got the when you think about Rihanna and you right. think, Kanye West. Yeah, you know what I mean. They didn't get their billions from making music. No, that was their platform. But how they made their billions was from branching out and um, investing and 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 taking over companies and things like that. So like when you when you really think about it like that, like yo, it's it's investing, like you know what I'm saying? That's where that's where the money is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you really think about it, like nice. yo. Nice. Just to wrap things up, um, let me ask you this. Why do you invest? Mm, why do I invest? And why should people invest? Like, why? So what's the end goal? Why do I invest? So like I'm so I have a I have a story. Mm. So like when because you know obviously I, I went to school with everybody. So like I have student loans. <laughs> 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 I have student loans, right? So when originally like I think I had like um like over forty thousand dollars of student loans, which is not, not that much. Yeah, compared not, to yeah, not too much. Right. But when I was thinking about it, I was like, yo, I'm going to be like 60 years old trying to pay off this $40,000. Yeah. Because like at that time, I thought that $40,000 was like something that was unattainable mm. for the average human being. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, But when I started investing, I grasped yeah. that opportunity of hope and and understanding that, yo, forty, yo, that's it ain't really, it's like, yeah, that shit is possible. Yeah. Like, yo, you can, if you can, and it's all about hope and dream. You know what I mean? Like, if you do the right amount of research and, and things like that, you can understand that that yo, that is is possible. 
and you have a different understanding about what money is and what wealth is and how it really works because you know if you're someone who's just you know trading hours for money then you know you think that you know forty thousand dollars is unattainable or it's going to take you x amount of years to really figure out but if you take you know what I mean? Like just a percentage of what you make now from trading hours to money and you put that money to work yeah. and you know what I mean? You think about like, okay, so how is, how am I going to make this money flip? Like I'm going to triple, double this money. And you start thinking like that, then you start realizing that, okay, $40,000 is not unattainable and I can get it and things like that. So, even, that's even that, a hundred thousand. Yeah, like it, and money in general is attainable. It's it's attainable. It's Yo, attainable. that's the like that's the mind that's the mind blowing thing. And once you see like money going up, and you know what I mean, like once you see like the prices rising, yeah. once you see your stock going up, and you yeah. be like, "Yo, damn, all this shit is really unattainable." And then you start getting into an even deeper conversation, like none of this shit is really real. Like none of it is like it's. That's a whole nother conversation, but like you start really thinking that like, like, yo, what you thought was money is not really money. Right. And you know what I mean? Like once you you start really getting into it, it, it gets it's deeper than rap. So like it's it's just like one of those things. But why that was um why I should say to uh say to get into investing because like, yo, it can really change your whole perspective and and give you a new insight on life, and yeah. and one of, and it's funny because like one of the things that my cousin told me, my older cousin, she's in uh, she's in real estate yeah. and things like that. She don't she don't have to work or anything like that. She was like I, I was telling her a scenario, and she was like, "Yo, never trade your," she was like, "Never trade your um your hours for money." <laughs> that was you know that was. <laughs> When she said when she said that to me, I said, I said, you know, you're absolutely right. Right. Because time, like, yo, time precious. is can't get it back. Precious is uh, you can't, get it back. can't you cannot you cannot you cannot get it back. And and the thing is like she was just like, yo, never take never trade your time for money. And when you start when you start really thinking about that and think about what that that really means, that's when you get into like the whole investing, mm-hmm. the whole that's a whole different perspective of you know, things like I that. I remember, and I don't even care. I remember I used to work at um, Dodge Jeep um, Ram, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Turnersville. Mm-hmm. Um, and I used to be like a lot guy. So mm-hmm. I used to drive the car and a lot, a lot. The managers, um, they used to work nine to 10. Mm-hmm. Six day, yeah, six days a week. They were making like six figures though. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, yo, is he even worth it? I remember one of the managers wanted to go spend time with his kids. Yeah. Um, and his wife, but he, he wasn't allowed. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, the money he's making, it's not even worth it. Yeah. Because he can't spend time with his family. Spend time with his family. So that's why I knew, like, yo, that's just to piggyback off what your cousin just said, like. Yeah. Your time is so much more precious. It, it is. It's, than the money you pay. It really is. So me, I know like, yo. And that see, honestly, the beauty of our life is, you know, the experiences, the job that you go through, the people you talk to, you know, you really learn a lot and let it shape your mentality growing up or going forward, you know. At that point, I was like, damn. Cause, you know, everything comes at a cost. Me, I like my time more than I like money. Yeah, that's a fact. That's so, a fact. I will never take an opportunity or a job that is costing me so much time, but I'm, make, I'm making X amount of money. You know what I mean? I'm more into things that require less of my time, right? but it's making me more money. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that, that's, that, that's really golden. Exactly, because it's like, yo, what is... Like, what is money? Like, what is, you know what I'm saying? Like, the time is more precious than the money, if anything. Like, and that's what investing and get into investing really opens yeah. up an opportunity for you to have those options and things like that. Because 
if you're someone who's like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, if I start investing, I'm gonna start losing money or whatever. Like, yo, like for real, for real, like you're gonna be working until you die. You know what I'm saying? Like it's and, and that's the reason why I invest. Because exactly. I don't plan on you know, as a kid, you know, everybody's in, in grade school and the teacher's asking, what do you want to be when you grow up? I really never had an answer. Yeah. Cause I really never expected myself or saw myself really working for the rest of my life. You but the crazy thing is, is that, and this is why I jump into the whole matrix thing, I thought I had to. <laughs> like, yeah. yo, like, you know, for for someone who like, for someone who like, you know, really grew up low income and things like that. So I thought like, okay, this is what you do. You go to college, you get a nice degree, you get a nice job, you work there for 25, 30 years and you get a nice pension. And then like, you know, at the age of 55, 60, that's where you live happily ever after and things like that. But that's not really the case. Like, yo, you can live happily ever after at 35. You know, 40 Bro. Years old, like 40 years old, like you can, you can do what you want to do at that age. If you take the time out to learn your personal finances, right. to really know what, you know, what's coming in and what's coming out and things like that, and master your own personal finances and put your money to work you can really like set yourself up where you can create generational wealth where your kids don't have to do what you had to do and things like that. So my, my whole thing is, you know, I kind of think kind of like different and like abstract, like why wait till you're 65? Yeah, right. To have, to enjoy <laughs> life, right? For real. Exactly. I'm not Yo, trying to wait then. I'm trying to be on a yacht in Miami. At 32. <laughs> At least minimal, <laughs> minimal, and that and that's why I invest, bro. I want all my friends, my family, exactly. to stop working or to be more comfortable. Exactly, more vacations, more enjoyment. Exactly, and that's really why I invest. You know, because I'm trying to change my life and the ones around me. It, it, exactly, and my whole thing is like, yo, if like if you listening, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I love my job. That's fine. Like, that's that's okay. Like. If you love your job, that's perfectly fine, but have the option to decide whether, okay, I don't have to be here versus I have to be here right. and things like that. Cause that's that's a totally different experience. So things like that. So definitely get into investing.